<laughs> Hanging out with your news. Oh. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's the news tonight? Science party. Win. <laughs> Yo, Star Trek, let's go climb a mountain. So Rachel, what do you think the chance of me surviving this climb is? Negative 10%? Sounds good. Here it is. Oh, let's do this. So uh, what do you think my chance of surviving this climb is? Pretty low. You got your cargos on? No. Oh. These are cargo. I prefer my um my rainbow pants. Let's go. Bruce's goodbye song. Wait, wait, it needs to be a little bit. This may be the last thing I ever hear. With my uh, housemate Mitten and his girlfriend Rachel. Now, future all famous, future all famous. Yo, Snapchat, so I've always loved this ledge because it gives you a different perspective. Uh, there's very few places in the world where you can actually have a complete overview of an entire city and all of its zones. It's totally like SimCity and it gives you a different perspective on just everything. So you do all these different kind of overarching ideas. I always have completely different ideas when I'm up here, so I'll show you. Okay, so you have the university there. You have the business district there. Uh, where is it? Medical district. And then... Here's the steelworks and all the industrial kind of areas in here. And you've just got like suburbia just scattered all the way around. That's so cool. So for, first thought that our video I showed at the beginning was like it's epic time lapse, but it was edited in a way that was very um, cyberpunk. Um, so the idea would be, what if you could see that with AR goggles? So suppose we had like 100 years of data where everyone was recording um, everything they ever saw um, and they had LiDAR on their, on their heads <laughs> and on their cars and so you mapped everything in real time. Because something like that would actually be like capturing time and so then you could actually travel back in the past and then fast forward through a time lapse either using VR or just watching the real world and seeing it in AR. So the idea would be that I can sit here right now and I could kind of, kind of like rewind everything I see back to like when it was just trees and swamps and whatever and then fast forward it through to now and then project it out. The other cool thing I wish I could do right now is like have an augmented reality display and just have an, a SimCity overlay so I could change things around and just kind of play SimCity on the fly on top of what's already there. Because the cool thing is, from this perspective, this city isn't a, a mixture of people and cars and things and buildings. It's an organism, and I'll show you. So it's hard to zoom in, but you can very clearly see the roads. And so the roads... See these? The roads are arteries. And I guess the cars are kind of like red blood cells that are transporting um, either procs or goods or particularly the trucks like resources, um, but also people, moving people around the city. But see, then the thing that's less visible is the electrical grid, which you can probably consider as like the nervous system of this, of this organism. And the really freaky thing about the limbic system of this whole setup is that um, there are individual wires going into every house, and then within every house there's a whole network going through the house of individual wires out to every power point. Not to mention all like the water pipes and the gas pipes and the sewage systems. Like, I, I would love that again. Another augmented reality thing. I love to look at look at it now and see that in real time. Like, how awesome would it be just about to have with your augmented reality glasses just turn on and off layers? So just show me all the the sewage pipes, or show me all the water pipes, or show me all the the electrical wiring, and just like pull them up. And then of course attached to that limbic system is the the internet. The internet passing through all the electrical grid, and within the end of each of those those wires is a human brain and neuron for a couple. So there's a couple hundred thousand neurons in this brain right now um, that are processing, but they're also connected to the global hive mind as well, and that's really epic. But one of the big issues I see with even a small little uh, organism like this is that 
Um, there's siloed industries, there's siloed sections. There's there's parts of it that don't talk to each other. Because it's very much like university, business, um, industry, medical, and workers, I guess. And so true innovation happens from the grassroots, from the bottom up, and at the edges between the intersection between two different types of industries, you know, convergence of technologies. We need to facilitate that system more. That, that. So for starters, let's connect all these people so we know exactly what they're thinking and they can all add and contribute in an equal way. Like it'd be epic if I could just see a little overlay on every little building and every person that's walking past and just see what they're thinking, see what their thoughts are, their hopes, their dreams, their issues, their problems, everything. This whole industrial zone, they should definitely stop fucking making steel because that's just not working, but do some decent future manufacturing stuff like manufacturing robotics. I feel like that whole place should just be a, a, a section for like hardware hackers. There should be hacker spaces, maker spaces, fab labs. Um, it should be easy to basically prototype any product you want there. And things like industrial 3D printers and just like all the future of manufacturing stuff, not the let's pour some coke and shit into a furnace and make steel and ship it away. And the hospital guys should definitely talk more to the research guys with uh, things like bioinformatics and genetics and just kind of like just do crazy stuff in those areas. The university should turn themselves into an entire makerspace with all the equipment and all the, all the labs and everything, but no formal courses. You just go there and learn um, and just learn from the best in the world. Then the innovation campus should just be an entire, I guess, like almost like a city for startups. Um, so I accelerate should definitely be a fucking open building and they should stop bringing in call centers. Yeah, a bit mad at that one, sorry. Then this business district should stop selling to each other and stop focusing on the local market and actually work on you know proper scalable businesses, but cooperate and work with each other to make that happen. Then these three can kind of operate as a little triangle to help each other out, like free flow of ideas and, and cooperation, no com competition, just trying to help each other out and make awesome stuff. And the whole, in whole industrial zone could, should be focused on automation, basically taking in raw resources, putting it through a Turing complete factory where robots and AI spit out products without having to change the factory line. And then all the zones just need to talk to each other. <laughs> so each would have their own little uh, make spaces and fab labs and hacker spaces, but maybe you have crossover ones in the middle so that it forces the two to meet. Every business model across the entire region has to be radically open and transparent um, so that if one, if one group makes a, an improvement in one area, it benefits everyone across all industries. What's that thing? It's um, like a, the rising tide. All boats rise with the rising tide or something like that. You know what I mean. Analogies. So it's getting cold up here. i got to go. Snappy thoughts at Fushaw. What do you think? Simba, everywhere the light touches will one day be your kingdom. But not the shadows, never go there. That is Dapto. And I'm lost. That track's a dead end. That's not really a track. Okay, we'll make our own tracks. Down there, maybe.